what's up YouTube? It's Jeff on two. <clears throat> I, uh, you have to excuse my voice. I've just recently woken up, so still got the whole like morning groggy sound. I haven't had any coffee, but uh, I had a little bit of this tea java stuff, which is miscaffeinated, but it's not quite the same to me as far as like waking you up like coffee does. <clears throat> Sorry, I got ways. Ways is talking to me in my ears right now. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm out for a little ride this morning. It's uh, Sunday morning. I don't know what's the date today. Uh, I think it's the first. I think. I'm pretty sure um, of May. And oh man, now that I see the light on it, it's. Oh, my bike is so filthy. Oh man, this is gonna drive me crazy all day. Especially in the sun like this. I tried to do a quick wipe down of the uh, the windshield and my mirrors. You know, the windshield, uh, a lot for me riding, but <clears throat> I can look around it if I need to. It's it's a lot for, for the camera, because I know it looks right, geez, it looks right through, uh, <clears throat> right through the windshield so I tried to clean off some bug guts and it rained like exactly a week after I washed my bike so of course I got rain spots everywhere and they're like they get on the inside you know back of the, the back of the windshield so you gotta clean like both sides and it's spot cleaning <clears throat> in my opinion is like almost harder than just cleaning it because like spot cleaning you're you're not you're kind of trying not to spread it everywhere all the like you know soap or spray or whatever cleaner or whatever anything you use it's gonna like drip and get on other stuff so it's, it's I hate spot cleaning man I just can't stand doing it but you know I definitely didn't have the time this morning to actually wash the bike and I I wanted to last night but <laughs> no the fat chance I had no time to do that, so this is as good as it gets. Hopefully it doesn't look horrible in the video, but um, my mirrors at least are decent, and, and that's really important for, for riding. Man, mirrors, I don't know how you could ride a motorcycle without, you know, a good set of mirrors on and properly adjusted. They are at least how you could ride in traffic. I mean, I know how you could ride a motorcycle without mirrors, but... Oh, God, jeez, I gotta run it. Could not stop in time. <clears throat> I tried to, and if there was a cop there, they, he had to have seen I was gonna stop, but I looked around, I couldn't, and I just had to go for it. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, I'm totally like half asleep still, I think. I am riding down to uh, the Bay Area. <clears throat> I live in the Bay Area. But I'm, I'm up like towards the top of the Bay Area. So I'm riding down into the Bay Area. Um, and I'm gonna meet up with someone. And uh, we're gonna go for a ride. And I don't know everything. Maybe get some need, I don't know. But well, at least gonna meet up. I know that much. <laughs> Guess we'll see what happens from there. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna at least go for some sort of ride. <laughs> but I'm gonna get off here because I don't want to vlog through this area. I do it all the time in vlogs that I never end up using. So partially because it just gets too windy. Um, so I'll get off here and uh, oh man, ways sometimes to have like a direction that's just like a paragraph long, you know, like, oh my god, okay, thank you, um, okay, so I'll check back in here in a bit, and, uh, yeah, see you for now, well, hey, what's up, guys, it's Jeff on two again, and I am, uh, just coming up into the section that, man, this is fun, actually, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and pass this guy, this is really fun to ride in, I mean, like, a lot of fun. Uh, you do have to kind of watch out, because there's a couple of spots up here where cops will just kind of chill, looking to, 
looking to issue some speeding tickets. Let's see if I can see any way up here. Uh, looks clear. Yeah, if you see up here on this like uh, exit, there's an on ramp right there, and those cars parked. A lot of people park there as kind of like a park and ride type of thing, I think. Um, but sometimes cops will sit right there too. Again, ways with the uh, ridiculously long set of directions. It's because it's like exit up here. It's like exit 400 or you know, exit 438. This exit, which has like multiple names, and then it's like which goes to this place, and that place that goes to is like multiple names. It's just like okay, thanks, got it. Sorry, I keep having to open my shield and adjust my glasses. That's just not, that's not right. I need to get some like actually motorcycle riding glasses. Cause like, I noticed one time uh, Sean Smoke, I saw on his, he has like some pads, it looks like. Like on the inside to rest up against your face. And that's exactly what I need. I, you know, I, I can't have him resting right up against my eyes. Um, just because like my eyelashes will rub on them and I can't really open and close my eyes as like it's like it's weird it feels like you know it's like something pressed against your eyes um, plus they fog up real easily but when you have them pressed away just a little bit all this wind kind of goes all around them and they they shimmy around a little bit and here is the gorgeous view the city over there I'm trying to look while looking at the road and then the uh, Golden Gate Bridge but yeah um, Oh, that section that I was talking about back there, I just, you know, I know I'm jumping over the place, cops and sunglasses and everything. It's a lot of fun to ride through. I, anything, my favorite way of doing hills uh, is going uphill. I, I don't know what, it, or, you know, doing uh, like twisties is going uphill. For whatever reason, it doesn't have to be a big incline, just enough that you kind of feel like you're like sitting back a little bit. I don't know, it's hard to describe, but... I, I, it feels better to me. Um, you know, flat isn't bad. Uh, I would like them to be bermed, you know, kind of like have like a, an actual slant to the curves, not just totally flat curves. Um, and I'm not the biggest fan of twisties ugh, when I'm going downhill. I mean, it's not bad. If they're bermed well, it's not bad at all. But, eh. So here's the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. I come over this every day and I, you know, I, I bring the camera sometimes and I forget that like, it is a pretty cool thing. I mean, it's, yeah, a lot of people definitely, I mean, every single day, like, I mean, I'm not kidding. It does not matter, rain, well, I guess it's just rain or that's about it. Just really horrible. I mean, it's right here, it's the ocean. So like, you'll get days where the wind is just incredibly strong and it's like pouring rain and it's cold and you'll still see tourists out here they all have like the those big clear like ponchos on and they have umbrellas and you'll see big big giant groups of them big hordes of them just like going across the bridge on both sides um, it's most often always on this side but this is mainly bicyclists um, I think you can walk on that side though I could be wrong maybe that is just bicycling over there never really thought about that but yeah this I mean you can see it's and they're out here all the time like all the time it's insane like look at it. there's a big group and that's that's not that big but like you'll see just massive like like bus loads multi bus you know multiple bus loads of people will be in like one tour group or whatever and they're all just like walking together it's it's nuts but you know a lot of people come from all over to see it it's a place all right, so I need to. Uh, I need to not have allergies. That would that would be my best. Oh come on, man! Why do people go so slow right there? Like, I think he's like putting his fast track away or something. It's like, hey man, I have an idea. Do that when you park. What's the difference? Six. Drop it on your seat, man. You're driving. I don't get that. Like. People really do have this, like, I was talking to my wife last night, and she was like, you know what it is, is, um, because I was actually watching some Snowcat, and she was watching, and she was like, oh, is this the guy who just kind of, like, complains like you do? And I was like, yeah, kind of. 
Because, like, I sound like him when I'm driving around, and she hates it. Drives her crazy. I call all this stuff out. And, uh... Whoa. I think he's alright. Um... What in the world? Hello? Cena, or Cena, Cena, or whatever it's called, however you pronounce it, just came on really quietly and was talking, it looked like, like a, like, I don't know if that dude was maybe trying to pair a headset or something, but it, like, almost seemed to link up with it, and it was like, blah, 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 and it was like doing stuff for a little while, a little while, and then it was like, then it was like, whatever it was doing, canceled, I'm like, what, what, but I could barely hear it, it almost sounded like someone on the phone, anyways, uh, man, now what was I saying? Blah, blah, blah. That totally tripped me out. Um, what was it? <laughs> oh my god, I'm just, that's what happens when you haven't had any coffee. I mean, I am just like, brah. Uh, okay, so I was going over the bridge. Oh yeah, so people, so I was talking to my wife, and she was saying, well you know what it is, is people just don't, they don't care that much. Like, driving to a lot of people is just like driving, you know what I mean? Like they don't, it's not, it's not something that they either, maybe they don't know that much about, like either the, the rules or the laws or how, or how to do it, but it's just like a, I don't know, she, I don't know exactly how she said it. But it was just something like they don't have as much the like, care and concern in what they're doing as maybe you and some other people are or do when when you're like driving, and I think that's kind of true. I mean, you you can see it. You, there's like a definite split uh, between people who seem to be what you would call good drivers and bad drivers. And it's not one of those things where I'm like sitting back and like I'm the only good driver. I know everyone else is bad. No, that's definitely not the case. I actually personally probably know more good drivers than I know bad drivers. But you know, you'll see them and you'll, I've, I've ridden with them before not knowing they're a bad driver and getting in the car and all of a sudden they start driving and I mean you're, it's a scary ride. You're just like, everything is, you know, crazy, jolty, you know, speed, slam on the brakes, speed, slam on the brakes, you know, quick turn, jostling things. I mean, it, and they look like they're really stressed out when they're driving, like they're just like, oh God, like, you know, um, it's, it, you can really tell the difference between that and the person who's just like calmly driving, but you know, they're very capable, they know what's going on, they're like watching other people kind of anticipating what they're going to need to do and maybe adjusting to, you know, accommodate those needs. You know, those are good drivers. Those are people who are actually like out aware and paying attention and whatnot. Um, that being said, people will go through that like toll booth thing out there and it says you know like a speed of 25 miles an hour it says do not stop though um but you'll get people who will slow down way lower than 25 um you know i go through it much faster and you know yeah you probably shouldn't but i'm also on a motorcycle it's a little bit easier i have more than enough room it's not like something i need to be super careful about you know side swiping one of the like booths or something whereas your know, car a big truck or something that's understandable so uh although they do have like wide lanes over to the right specifically for that um but people will go through that and it's almost like they think of that threshold as like the the threshold in their garage or something like it's almost like they feel like they've just they've just arrived okay i'm home uh let me let me pull out my phone let me you know start doing whatever i'm doing like just basically completely ignoring the fact that there's other cars coming up behind you like doing the exact same thing you just did and you're still continuing on the road continues um you know they, they, it's not a stop there and people will do that they'll do it in like driveways too when you'll see people drill, pull into like a driveway or a parking lot i understand it when there's like big you know uh like inclines and you got to watch out for like potentially like lower cars not lowered but just cars that are somewhat low you gotta watch out for them bottoming out or motorcycles and whatnot i get that 
but it's when you see people pull into driveways that there's no reason to, that they need to really slow down or they've already gone over all the bumps or all the angles and they'll still just like they'll still just really really slowly just pull you know put along as if they're like pulling up in their driveway or something at home i just i'm like dude <laughs> Not only is this not your house, but there's other cars trying to do this, and there's oncoming traffic coming at the cars who are also in the process of turning in. You know, like maybe you could speed this up just a bit uh, and do whatever you might be doing right now once you park. But man, the whole distracted driving thing. Uh, who was it that I was just watching a vlogger the other day? Oh man, I think it may have been Snowcat who said it. Yeah, I think it was Snowcat. Yeah, because he was talking about some Canadian, like, I don't know, like royal judge or something. I don't know. Canada's weird with that. Like, they have, you know, certain, like, they have, like, some royalty type stuff because of, you know, Great Britain. And there's, like, I don't know, crown, crown judge, I think that's what it was or something. I don't know. It's kind of strange in America, but, I mean, it's similar. We, it's pretty much the same process. You know, some oligarchy appointing people, whatever. Um, we just call it something else. I'm gonna sneak up here, man. Um, so, he was talking about how, I don't know if this was Canada-wide or Calgary-wide or, I think he lives in Alberta, I think that's the province. I'm not sure. I'm bad with the with Canadian provinces. Although, I, I admit my ignorance and I do try and learn it. I'm not just like, uh, that's dumb. I don't. It's not American, so I don't know it. I don't need to know it. That's just stupid. Might as well just you know turn your brain off, give it to someone else, donate it to science or something. You don't want to use it. Um. So it was saying that supposedly the distracted driving, which is like basically what what texting and driving is, or. I think that's generally what it is, is texting and driving, but it's, you know, pretty much on your phone or whatever. Distracted driving, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but I think it's kind of almost a little too, like, you know, uh, open-ended. I mean, like, distracted, that's a pretty broad, like, description. You can use that in a lot of different ways. Uh, or a lot of things can make you distracted, let me put it to you that way. You know what I mean? Like... Because you could say distracted driving would be like driving with a screaming child. You know, like, you're somewhat distracted by that. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's necessary. You're driving and they get all of a sudden uncomfortable and so they're screaming. Like, that's... You don't necessarily need to do anything. I guess maybe that would be distracted driving. Just if you're, like, turning around and trying to manage them. <laughs> Anyways, um, God, I'm so long-winded. He was saying that uh, distracted driving is now a, like... It accounts for more deaths, more traffic fatalities, uh, than drunk driving, than alcohol, which is kind of crazy. Um, I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I've absolutely texted before while driving, I'm sure most everyone watching this has. <coughs> it's kind of like drunk driving. <laughs> You know, especially before it was illegal. I mean, it was a normal thing. I know people who, like, have stories of, like, you know, just going to, you know, the whole concept of, like, uh, road beers. You know, like, that's a term. That term exists for a reason. Uh, it was a real thing. So, you know, everything changes over time and stuff. But, you know, definitely when cell phones were first out, I mean, the first, one of the first, like, uh, you know... Uh, versions, if you will, or instantiations of a cell phone was a car phone. Like, that's what it was called. It was literally, I mean, some of you guys are like, well, duh, but some people are young enough, they don't even know about those things. It's just crazy. It makes you realize how old you're, like, not old you are, but like, just how many years have transpired. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> a euphemism for how old you are, I guess. But, uh, yeah, man, car phones, you know, just pull on, hey, put it in your car, talk on the phone when you're out, like, at a job site, or, I don't think it was ever, like, I don't know if they ever said, like, don't talk while you're driving, because I want to say, I mean, that was kind of, like, part of the selling point, like, oh, they would show people in, like, convertibles, you know, driving along, like, in traffic and stuff, 
on the phone, you know, like supposedly on conference calls or whatnot, you know, which to, to the, the businessman or whatever is like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I need. Um, and, you know, when cell phones were even just first kind of coming out, the majority of people who had them were like business people, you know, realtors, lawyers, things like that. Um, and, and like people who are really into technology. I was, was one of those people. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just blathering up, man. I really need some coffee. Well, I'm going to get off of here just so that my vlog... Uh, this is good, definitely end up being like a multi-part vlog, but I really want to actually put this... Get this online. I have so much footage I haven't done stuff with because I just don't have the time. It's pretty cool. It's like a, a jet there in the playground. <laughs> um, this house is really nice, man. But I really want to get this up, so... And... <laughs> In order to do that, I need to not keep it that long, but uh, like I said, I'm headed, well, I'm in San Francisco right now, but I'm headed even farther down into, like, towards the South Bay area, and uh, like the peninsula. I'm gonna meet up with someone, uh, a fellow moto vlogger, um, and we, uh, we're gonna go for a ride, maybe get something to eat. I should probably call him at some point. Let me see what time it is. 9.53. Yeah, man. I was expecting... I thought I was going to be there by 10.15. And, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll see how much traffic is... Because I think I'm getting close to, like, getting on the actual highway again. And hopefully that'll speed up a bit, but... Alrighty, I'll get off here and I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. Peace.